What's going on guys? This is Hunter SC and tonight's episode of Dark Souls is going to be a lot more direct than episode 4. Although episode 4 was pretty sick, um, I wasn't, I didn't really have a game plan going into it. So I know what I'm going to show you guys here and it's a couple of sweet kills and some sick armor as well. Really useful armor. Um, we're heading into Dark Root garden or forest or basin or I, I don't know there's it's hard there's a lot of names okay as soon as the title comes up watch wait for it here we go dark root garden as soon as that title comes up you can make an immediate right now this immediate right um leads you to a more difficult area than the last area we did in episode four where we killed the moonlight butterfly that's sort of the first area you should go to because it's just worth killing or you get a bunch of souls and that ember and some other stuff um oh keep your eyes peeled there's a wild chameleon off in the distance. You do not want to miss these. This actually will make me rage harder than dying, for sure. If I miss this. Oh, I'm actually running out of stamina. What am I doing? See my... Got him. Got him. Yeah, you little bugger. What's he going to give me? Sweet. Ooh, I got two twinkling and one uh, titanite chunk. Those are just sick crafting materials you're going to want to use. They are used on lots of different weapons and armor, both of them. Um, okay, let's take a look over here. I think this is the armor I want to show you guys. Down here. Yeah, leather armor, leather gloves, leather boots. Oh, and the longbow. I can use the longbow. You need 14 dex, I think. I think I got that. I came with 14 dex. Okay, I don't want to make some stupid mistake and die here. Where am I going? I got to drop down, right? Or... All right, there you go. See, I narrowly landed on it, but that's just what you do. Drop down there. And, okay, in the direction... Okay, you can go this way, and that will lead you to a bonfire. So if you want to save, definitely go over there. Oh, you got to kill a Black Knight. All right, let's go kill the Black Knight, guys. We're going to add him in. Maybe he'll drop something sick. And, all right, here we go. Block. Swing. Block. Swing. Sometimes... Okay, now he broke my parry, or he broke my guard. That's a big mistake. And had he been a stronger Black Knight, he would have uh, capitalized there and kept attacking. Two strikes a third? Oh, you're done. Oh, parry! Oh, my God. I don't want to fall off the edge. I'm going to bait an attack. And have a swig. Uh-oh. Look at that. I barely, barely uh, survived there. Okay. Made another attack. You know, I'm going to go for a backstab. I'm not doing wasting my time like this. I could also parry his attacks, but then you got to be a real boss. <laughs> and you know what? I just, I don't have enough health to be risking that. Dying right now would be really annoying. Nice backstabs, no problem. Okay, what's he dropping for me? Black Knight Halberd and Blue Titanite Chunk. Black Knight Halberd is probably a very strong weapon. Actually, let's just take a look at it. So I'm using the Drake Sword, which we got in Episode 2. It's a sick sword. Get the Drake Sword. It'll one-shot everything for a long time. Okay, I need... Oh, jeez. 32 strength and 18 dex. Okay, I'm basically... I'm not going to be using that item anytime soon. Now, if you continue down that path, um, again, you get to that bonfire, and that bonfire is a shortcut to Valley of the Drakes. But instead, we're going the other way. And first, we're going to try and fight Haval. So I think it's the first I've mentioned it in this video. Um, maybe I should include something at the beginning, letting you know that I'm going to kill Haval. You know what? I'll start doing those annotations, which uh, tell you... What to, where you can jump to a part of the video where I'm killing Haval. I'm going to kill a Hydra that's down in that direction um, after this. And I guess I could have done one for the Black Knight as well. Anyways, you guys have been able to follow my path so far. I'm just uh, heading up to this door here. This leads you back to the Undead Burg. If I immediately go through that door and go up, I go to the Undead Burg. But we're in the basement right now. I'm going to take on Haval. I don't know if I'm going to win. Um, it's not going to be easy, that's for damn sure. Okay? He will basically one-shot me. Basically what you gotta do, I'll fight long. 
it would just be a little foolish to be doing anything else. Now, there you go. Let's see how many I can do in a row. I did two nice, like a dodge and then backstab. Oh, oh no, bat! That was horrible. He like, he like faked me out. Oh my god. Don't do that again. Okay, we're back in business. He faked me out um, earlier. Ooh, that's a quick second one. Now what's the best, I mean I could do something on his wake up, but he could also kind of instantly go for a big hit. Man, so okay, that does 33 damage. The backstab does 172. Man. Oh, is that stupid? I guess I should have just gone for some nice swings. Instead, I went for a backstab there when I broke his guard. I was so surprised I broke his guard. But um, I guess that makes sense because swinging that big ass dragon's tooth is certainly going to cost a lot of stamina. Shoot, sorry, this is a little bit sloppy to be honest. Okay, backstab, it's over. Yeah, that dragon tooth, you can get it a little later in the game. It's obviously heavy hitting. <laughs> uh, it just requires a ton of strength and eats up that stamina. This is Haval's ring. Okay, I'm gonna show you what Haval's ring is gonna do real quick. We're gonna put it on. Now instead of 16, actually no. Okay, instead of a max equipment load of 72, you can see it there on the right, three from the top. This is important, honestly, if you're playing the game, and I hope you are, because this is a sick game. Max equipment load right now is 72. Put on the ring. Now it is 108. So I can uh, afford to put some other equipment on. Like Baldur's Leggings, that does a lot more. Anyways, the benefit from having a high number for equipment is I can wear more equipment and still maintain my quick rolls. Quick rolls are very important to me. There are three speeds of rolls depending on your equipment load and depending on your equipment. That's all I'm going to talk about for that. What's over here? Large Soul of Nameless Soldier. Okay, uh, these guys, I had an idea here. I think I can lure them all to the water and kill them that way. Oh shoot, I gotta be careful though. Okay, new change of plans. There's a big Hydra in the lake over there, and there we go. See? You can bait them. Okay, so I'm using the Hydra's magic damage to kill off these stupid crystal men here. Oh, man, but I'm not actually taking some damage, so I gotta be a bit more careful. Alright, so we're gonna make our way to the Hydra. Now, I don't remember what's down there. I believe it's a ring. I'm just not sure which one it is. Um, I can't, I'm not going to get it right now. Oh, also, it's hard to move in the water. Because, uh... It's hard to move in the water because I don't have the rusted iron ring. It helps you move in these conditions. Oh, man. I'm having a rough go of things here. Okay. you got to find a sweet spot against this Hydra. There we go. Okay. This is the spot that I want to be at. i got to drink something. Oh, man, I'm out of Estus Flasks. So this is what you want to do. You want to... Oh, no! There are crystal men behind me. Oh, shoot. All right. I think I'm okay for now. Here we go. Let him attack. That's fine. You gotta cut the heads off. This may take a little while, guys. Switching to two-handed. Man. That, uh... That ring I was talking about before would be really helpful right now. Oh, man. I shouldn't be doing the two-handed attacks, I guess. It's too takes too long to switch from going one-handed to two-handed. Guys, it looks like I'm going to die unless I take humanity. Humanity is like that drug you should really, really not take. Oh, shoot. I don't know what to do, guys. I don't want to waste two humanity. Man, for those of you who actually play the game, there's actually a lot at play here. So much going on. I want to switch my belt to having one humanity. Because I don't want to waste these two. It might come to that. Alright, that's another head off. I'm going to just use these two. Okay. Oh, man. I don't want to fall off the edge. Um, an important 
point I haven't even pointed out yet is that if you get too close to the Hydra, you just fall like into space and die. There's like a the edge cuts off there. So you've got to be completely aware of that. So it's sometimes tough even just to get a, a good position on these Hydra heads. Man, this is such a struggle right now. That was a close call. You guys rooting for me? This was potentially a really bad idea. But actually it makes me even more accountable now for what happens here. Alright. Let me left. I think there's one more to my left here. Let's get this guy. This guy's actually in a good spot. Okay, there you go. Chop that one off. How much... Alright, so now actually the boss is a lot easier. And I die. Oh, well. See, the boss actually isn't even that hard. It's taking me a while. If I had a higher damage weapon, like this wouldn't take nearly as long. You fight a Hydra later in the game. And I was using a plus five lightning gargoyle halberd and it was like one-shotting these heads instead of this drake start on okay you know what you should actually do at this point oh i'm kind of silly i'm thinking about just getting out my bow oh what am i doing is he gonna spit magic at me from here that's what i'm wondering right now yeah and, oh, I don't think it's going to hit me, though. I don't think those Hydra heads can hit me from here. Can they? No, they can't. You guys suck. All right. We figured it out. Longbow. Sweet Jesus. Is this not pretty funny? <laughs> I'm so paranoid about this. Hydra. Okay, guys, shaky shot because I'm worried I'm gonna get, you know, killed. Oh man. I haven't used a bow in a long time. Since I was Such a struggle. So you guys can sense my frustration here. It's just um, these guys can still do enough damage to me where if I just get caught in a bad position they'll kill me and that is like a thousand times worse than just killing them like this. I don't even want to waste many arrows now. Oh, I'm out of these arrows. Let's switch over to the large arrows. They do even more damage. Oh man, he's wiggly. Wiggly Hydra heads. Okay. That one connect? I think that one connected. There you go, come on. That one's gonna go. That one got him. Yeah. Are you dead yet? Yeah. Woo! Dust Crown Ring and Dragon Scale. Dragon Scale's used uh, for upgrading. And let's take a look at that ring. I'm not actually sure what it does. Extra Sorcery casting. Okay. Um, it's a pretty big cost. I mean, it halves your health, but... Um, I mean, I'm sure it makes your spells a lot more powerful as well. Should do a Sorcery build soon. Um, okay, guys. That's going to about do it. Sorry I dragged that boss fight out for so long, but... It's either that or, you know, accept death or just take a tremendously high risk 
uh, of dying. And, um, yeah, wouldn't want to deal with that, especially after using that humanity. I got four humanity bank now, which is pretty good. Got a fair amount of souls, 13k. Oh, knight, ar uh, knight armor set. That one, uh, if you're down for, like, mid-level equipment load, then that one's sick. Okay, the only other thing I wanted to mention is there's a ladder um, right there to the right of the waterfall. Uh, we were just there, and you actually saw it in the clip before. But uh, that ladder leads up just to the sort of the final sections of this dark root uh, forest, and there's a sweet covenant and a boss, Sif, the wolf, that um, we'll be fighting really soon. Not exactly sure when. Maybe next video. All right, I think that's going to do it for this episode. What I'm going to do for you guys is ask for requests for what weapon to use. I'm going to leave a link in the description. It'll take you to the weapons page on the Dark Souls wiki. Just pictures and, if you're interested, uh, perfect descriptions of the different weapons. I can basically go with um, any melee uh, weapon. Let me know what you want me to use and leave that in the comments. I will find the weapons and show them off to you guys. Thanks a lot, guys. I am Hunter Starcraft. Peace out.